Hey y'all, Coach in the Fight here, over here at Hermes Academy. We're always getting questions about the Third Testament of the Bible. I want to take a minute just to go ahead and familiarize you guys with the Third Testament of the Bible. I'm even going to give you a, a link at the end of this. Uh, some of the points about the Third Testament of the Bible is that it is the third part of the trilogy we know as the Bible. It's broken up into three parts, turns out. You have the Old Testament, the New Testament, and the Third Testament. The Old Testament, or the First Testament, we got with Moses back there in the beginning of the first era. This is what taught us the law. And in the second era, with the coming of the Yehoshua HaMashiach, we got the New Testament or the Second Testament. And this is where we learned love. Well, it turns out, as far as the eschatology is concerned, the end times plan of our father, Elijah comes third in the third era, and he brings the Third Testament. And this is what's going to teach us wisdom. Another point to bring out about the Third Testament, it is the little book promised in Revelation chapter 10 but before we get there let's look at John chapter 1 which says that God is the word when you read John chapter 1 verse 1 it says in the beginning was the word and the word was with God and the word was God see now the way I understand this, this is saying that God and the word are the same thing it was there at the beginning it was there with the father and it even implies when you read on down in the verses that it was the word that created all things let me look over here at, at revelations chapter 19 verse 11 says and I saw heaven open and behold a white horse and he that sat upon him was called faithful and true and in righteousness he does judge and make war this is the this is the second coming of Yehoshua HaMashiach this is the second coming of Christ look it says his eyes were as a flame of fire and on his head were many crowns and he had a name written that no man knew but he himself this is the Messiah coming this is the day we're all waiting for when the Messiah comes down on his white horse uh, with his angels surrounding him at the seventh trump but let's look right here at verse 13 and he was clothed with a vesture dipped in blood and his name is called the Word of God. So when the Messiah comes back, his name will be called the Word of God. And, and why? Because he's always been known as the Word of God. And now that we are getting the Third Testament of the Bible, the completing the trilogy, we have him all together. We have his three parts. We have the love. We have the law. And now we have the wisdom to where we can get a full understanding of who our Father is. Hermes Academy. Power, patience, continence, and faith. We teach virtue.